Hi everyone, welcome to this week's newsletter and we've come from the wet and windy B&C and we're in the new net here at the back of the pro shop so it won't be long till we see you all back here, be good to see you all. Today I want to talk about something which is probably the most important thing in the golf swing. Does it matter what you do here? Does it matter what, how you take the club back, how you get to the top? No. Uh, and we witness it week on, week in, week out when we watch the golf on the TV. We get funny takeaway DJ, probably the best player in the world at the moment. Uh, just proves a point that basically it's all about what you do and how you achieve what we call impact. So, best way to think about it is just imagine if you were trying to hit into something as hard as you possibly can into impact. So you're trying to generate that whack as if you're going to hit. Imagine there's a, a tree there and you've got an axe and you're trying to chop that tree down. And what you get the feeling of there is basically as you get to the top, because you're thinking about chopping, the body starts to react. So as I go back, my body starts to go the other way as I complete my back swing. And you build up that kind of position into impact that we're looking for, where your hands lead the shaft in the club head into the ball. The most common fault in the golf swing, the thing I come across every single day when I coach, is that without meaning to, we kind of tend to bracing back out of a golf shot we try to lift it without meaning to particularly you notice it sometimes around the, the chipping green where you can sort of see people just trying to help the ball into the air so what's really important is that you get that solid impact position so something like a tire you may have seen me on the range doing that with with some of the pupils hitting into a tire to get that feeling of that positive impact now little keys for well particularly for me actually I tend to get into the habit of addressing the ball with the hand slightly behind like this. One of the big keys I think for powerful striking is to imagine that the line from the end of the club, the shaft all the way up, goes into the side of your left hip, just into the front of that left hip bone just there. And, all, and as long as you keep it there and just allow yourself to see those couple of knuckles, at least maybe even three, the modern golf grip has certainly got much stronger showing more knuckles on the back of that left hand. but. It's more to do with the fact that the shaft should be lent slightly forward. Now, if you think about it straight away, you've got that position that you're looking for into impact. You can lead with that left arm, left hand into the ball. The right then is just on for the ride. It just folds nicely into position, so it's nice. And this one's always leading, which means that your right doesn't throw and try to scoop because obviously most of us we're playing to our left but we're right-handed so there's gonna be that obvious move that we kind of want to keep out of the golf swing wanting to come in there but as long as you keep this right side out a bit keep that handle forward keep those hands forward and then strike and get that chopping kind of action into the side of the tree or the smash bag so that's where you get that strong impact position and that's basically where you get a lot of consistent ball striking from. Inconsistent ball striking, loss of distance, high ball flights, not really much of a change in distance between a seven and a six, for example. There's not a big enough gap between your irons. A lot of that is to do with this. So as long as you keep that forward and be really strong into impact, you're going to see a big benefit on it. Good luck with the changes.